Hey everybody, this is Braden Chase. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit tonight about um, about something that happened today. Uh, with my family, we went to church today and at church there were a lot of um, changes. There was a lot of uh, things that happened at church that were very different than, than usual. And um, those changes, some of the people in, in the church there were um, really kind of not happy about those changes. I don't want this to happen. Da, 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 da. They, were, they were pretty unhappy. Uh, but there were other people who were like, yeah, this is a challenge, but we can deal with this. And before you get all, you know, this is about English, right? Why are we talking about church? I'm not talking about church. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of start. This is the situation that they were in. This has just happened today. And um, I, I remember sitting there watching these this perspectives, these two different groups of people and thinking, you know, the people over here, the people who are accepting this change are, they're the ones who are inspiring me because the change that happened was out of their control. They had no choice in it. It just happened. Other people caused it and, oh, we just have to deal with it now. So let's deal with it with a smile and let's just overcome this challenge and, and make this change. It'll be great. Let's be happy. And I liked that. And I think that that attitude and that perspective is something that we should all have. And because often in life, there are um, challenges that, that happen. There are changes that happen. Some of them are our own choices, right? I want to move to a different city. So you move to a different city. We make that choice and we make that change. And that's one thing. But it's different when there's a change that comes to us from somewhere else. Someone else causes that and affects us and we have no control, but we can't escape it, what do we do? Do we just quit? Do we just give up or do we keep trying? And um, I would encourage you all to keep trying. Um, some of you know this, but when I first started teaching online, I was actually a Portuguese teacher and I taught Portuguese. And it worked out well for a couple of years and things were great, but then um, decisions were made outside of my control by other people that affected me and I kind of complicated but I basically lost my job and the, all the work that I had done was gone and that was really hard for me it was a change that happened from the outside I could not control that and how what do I do now I have I start back over I had family I had a wife I had children I had a job I had all of these things and it was great and then I lost the job so I have a wife and children and no money and no job and no place to live and it was very scary for a while. And what do, you, what do you do? The changes happen. And I learned from that that you just have to keep going. You have to keep your goals. You have to keep your objectives in life and move forward. Even though changes happen. Almost especially because the changes happen. You have to keep going. Because there's something that you want. And you need to keep working to get there. Um, most of my students, my English students, have don't want to ever become English professionals. They don't want to be English teachers. They don't want to be English writers or anything like that. They have a job where they're programmers or they're you know marketing people or they're in business administration or something. They already have a life and they just want to add English to it. And but when they start on English, they suddenly realize, wow, this is really hard. How do we get through this? And they often just quit. And they need someone there to help them get through that change. I'm hoping I can be one of the people that helps you get through that change and overcome that challenge. Because English really can be hard, especially if you're by yourself. So let's kind of come together, right? And be like that group. Like let's be together and let's smile. And yes, English is hard, but let's, let's keep fighting, right? And we can do this together and it'll be great. So that was kind of the message that I wanted to share with you guys tonight, that work um, changes will happen and work will happen and challenges will happen. But if we keep moving forward, we can achieve our goals and we can be happy and, and um, get all the things that we want out of life. Just don't give up. Keep going. You can do it. All right. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful night and I will see you next time.